Sim Color here and today we're going to move on on our Tinder series and I'm actually going to use this video to make a pretty big change to the code and I, we are going to change almost everything so I'm going to remove and I'm going to start opening up the, the Firebase database so that you can see I'm going to remove um, yeah okay uh, so I'm going as I was saying I'm going to remove the difference between male and female in the database and I'm going to make it so that every user is in exactly in the same child so that will simplify the code really a lot and it will give us the more control over the code so that you can later on add uh, interest in this sex or that sex or whatever and um, yeah so I didn't think of this in the beginning because I just rolled with it but many of you seem to be interested in, in this feature uh, and yeah it will simplify the, a lot the code so I have the database here I'm going to show it so we are not no longer have going to have a female and a male these uh, all of these users will be moved inside users so uh, if you are using the data this database right now you lose every account that you have because we will have to start all, all over um, yeah but we are going to it just removing the the child sex from every single database reference so let's get right on with it it will take some time I believe but let's try to go move fast and I'm going to go over everything so the first of all we have the registration activity which is the first distinction that we make and so the the thing that we need to worry about is about this child right here which we are going to move out of here and actually create another user info and we are going to put the um, let me just close that up we are going to put the user sex or gender or whatever you want to call it there so sex and the radio button which is gives us the the sex uh, either female or male so we can remove that child here and uh, as for the registration activity it's simple enough it's just that we that we need to change um, let me just check one more thing in the login let me just see if nothing is needed here because I didn't check here okay no so yeah you can go ahead and close the registration activity and go inside here uh, the main activity and start changing up things uh, right now so let's just go down and down and the first thing that we need to change is on left card exit and remove opposite sex because we don't need it anymore because user db uh, is just users which is exactly what we need and now remove again for the right uh, card exit okay let's go down again and is connection match we use the user sex again so we must remove it and inside here as well and again inside here so yeah that seems uh, okay so you can move on to the next one and this is where we are going to start seeing some pretty big changes so let's see if data snapshots this is where we check if the user is male or female so we won't be needing this any longer so we can actually just remove it completely from the, the database but then we'll need to get the user so we are going to change this actually we are going to change it into check for user preferences yeah that seems right about uh, there and you can remove one of the listeners so uh, user sex or preferences actually let's make just sex for now and give the opposite sex and then in the future uh, lessons we can actually implement a preference so if you want if he's <laughs> I don't know interested in girls boys both whatever <coughs> so let's just check the child for uh, the user and I don't know if you ha we have the um, yeah we don't so we must create it get current user that makes no sense let's make uh, let's change the 
actually you can just say this so user dot get uid and this will give us the the location of the database so user db and we can remove all of these and replace it with user db okay a child event listener and we can simply get uh, we can make a map string object as we always do and uh, we can actually copy from below I think okay then we don't even need map okay let's remove the map and say if uh, data snapshot exists as always then uh, if data snapshot dot child and the child that we want is sex uh, then uh, it, uh, uh, sorry different from no I was forgetting that then user sex equals to data snapshot dot, dot child sex dot get value dot to string okay so yeah and we'll be needing the opposite sex so mm. let's do a switch here switch not this kind of switch the switch with the lowercase user sex and this is just for now because as I said later on we'll be adding the preferences and when we do that then user sex is completely irrelevant for what we are trying to do uh, case male then opposite sex will be female can do break and case female opposite sex will be male okay so that should be working let me just check uh, one thing just to see if I used um, a capital letter in sex or not no so okay we can move on close that and when we get that, we can actually just get uh, opposite sex users. And for this part, it will be basically the same. Can remove that. And now let's change this up. So opposite sex, not this one, not here. So it is actually just users DB. And now the difference is uh, in here we are going to make sure that the child uh, sex the, uh, the sex child equals to what we want. So yeah, this is actually what many of you have been asking for. So yeah, here you go. Uh, data snapshot dot sex Check one more thing, okay. Dot sex dot get value dot equals opposite se user sex. And you can change these four preferences if you want to get ahead of uh, what we are trying to do. And I don't believe, okay. Let's just make, uh, let's place two string here because this get value may, may give uh, something else that we don't want. So, yeah. Uh, and besides that I believe everything is done so we can move on to the settings activity and before that uh, settings and we get in the settings activity we get all the information so you can actually get the user sex as well so you can remove this extra from here and besides that yeah that's done and as you can see the code is much simpler because you're not using two uh, child listeners I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, this is much uh, cleaner 
looking so yeah let me just double check everything yeah user user ID user ID that's all right okay check user sex okay okay so we can move on to the settings activity and make the changes that we need here so user sex will no longer be this one because we don't need it at the moment so we can actually move it to inside here name field this is just uh, getting the, the information so in here the customer database and it isn't customer it is user let's just make that change uh, really fast and user database user user okay so yeah let's just remove user sex and make sure you remove it everywhere otherwise it will give out an error because it will be looking for or it won't give out an error but it won't show up as well because it will be looking for places where there is nothing so yeah make sure you do that you have the user id so you can move on and in here we can get the sex 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 so user sex and for now we are not going to place it anywhere we'll make be making calls in order to change this for to for the user to be found and to get the preference that he wants so but for now we don't have to worry about that in here we also don't have to worry about anything yeah that's right Okay, so I believe that's all said and done. Let's just, uh, before we advance, make sure you clear up your database and your everything so that we can get a clean start on this. So I'll just run the app and see if I haven't forgotten anything in the, in the app. So let's go. Okay, so before running, I encountered a problem that we forgot something and it is on the check user sex. Uh, we have a listener here, uh, we have actually, um, child event listener I believe, and it had an if here that was a bit strange. So I I've went ahead and changed it into a single value event uh, listener and uh, made the changes inside here, I removed that if and made some changes here to the if and here to the user sex. So make sure you look at this code and uh, copy it. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I it slipped my mind because it was a, a lot to do. But now let's I can actually show you the final results. And I have two emulators here, but I don't need. I just need one because I created uh, two users and they went just fine, no problems there. So I tested the settings as well. So let's go inside here. No, not this one, the other. And let's actually log in. And as you can see, the this is the male one, so the female one appears just fine. And this is where it would crash because it wouldn't be able to get uh, the sex. But now it is working just fine. And if you swipe left, uh, right, actually, the connection appears and everything else uh, works as well. So yeah, if you have any doubts, please watch this video again and uh, really make sure that you change every single child because that's tremendously important. One, uh, one, sh one database reference with the user sex will uh, make the app more function and uh, worse things can happen. So yeah, but that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please check your, uh, the GitHub. I have the, the full code there. So yeah, I believe it, this is a step in the right direction. I'm happy with that. So yeah, I hope to see you again tomorrow and <laughs> you are having a wonderful day. So yeah, ciao. <laughs>